Gaming. Gaming is one of the most rapidly growing industries of the past decade. Along with the technology involved, gaming has revolutionized a lot of how the world works now. One thing I want to talk about is a controversy that happened in the gaming industry in recent history called the Gamergate controversy. To put it simply, Gamergate is an online group who ended up harassing women in August of 2014 and it continues somewhat now today. Now why should you care? Because of the blatant disregard of the life of these female game developers who are harassed and constantly abused as a result of this. Gamergate mainly brought up the topic of ethics in gaming journalism and overall the gamer identity and its protection. Statistics show that 76% of game developers are male, 22% are female, and 2% are transgender. This large split is very surprising in a world that we see today as diverse and together at the same time. After doing extensive research on the topic, and of course being a gamer myself for the past several years, I felt this topic needed to be discussed. As even after more than a year and a half, this news still remains a large point of controversy in the gaming and journalism industries as a whole. I spent several hours doing research on this dark hour in the gaming industry, and as a result, I felt this was very vital to talk about. Gamergate, an online group, targeted and lashed out at several women in the gaming industry, including a developer no known as Zoe Quinn. This started when an ex-boyfriend of hers, Aaron Gigioni, posted a lengthy blog about her falsely accusing her of cheating and other heinous acts. People lashed out at her, threatening her with threats such as rape and murder. This led to the government setting up several online programs, one of them being called the Online Abusive Prevention Initiative, which is helped or aimed toward helping people get over online abuse and help protect them from things such as that. Even the U.S. government themselves got involved in this. One Senator Representative Catherine Clark from Massachusetts stated, the internet should be open to everyone and discrimination should not be allowed. But the main point of this is just don't fall into that mentality of we need to attack anyone who is different from us. We should all be able to get along together. In a world where equality is a main priority, we should all be able to get along. 